Do you know what causes a heart attack? It's not as simple as you might think. A heart attack, also known as a myocardial infarction, is essentially a blood flow problem. Imagine your heart as a bustling city, and the blood vessels are the highways that keep it running smoothly. When one of these highways gets blocked, a part of the heart city doesn't receive the oxygen-rich blood it needs to function, just like a city would grind to a halt if a major road was closed. This isn't a minor traffic jam we're talking about, it's a serious medical emergency. The longer the blockage persists, the more damage it can cause to the heart's muscle. And the scary part? This can happen in a matter of minutes. The stakes are high and every second counts. It's like a ticking time bomb waiting to explode. So, what exactly causes this interruption in blood flow? Stick around to find out. You might be surprised to learn that there are several causes of heart attacks. Starting off, we have high cholesterol. When there's too much cholesterol in your blood, it builds up on the walls of your arteries, causing them to narrow and harden. This process, known as atherosclerosis, can lead to clots that block blood flow to the heart, resulting in a heart attack. Next up is high blood pressure. This silent threat puts extra strain on your heart and blood vessels. Over time, this strain can cause the arteries to become thicker and less flexible, or even to weaken, increasing the chances of a blockage, and you guessed it, a heart attack. Diabetes is another major culprit. High blood glucose levels over time can damage your heart, blood vessels and nerves, making you more prone to heart disease and, subsequently, heart attacks. Obesity also plays a significant role. Excess weight puts a strain on your heart, raises blood pressure and cholesterol levels, and can lead to diabetes. All of these factors increase the risk of heart attacks. Now let's talk about poor diet. Consuming high amounts of saturated fat, trans fat and cholesterol can raise your blood cholesterol levels, while a high salt diet can increase blood pressure. Both of these dietary pitfalls contribute to the risk of heart attacks. Smoking is another big one. It damages the lining of your arteries, leading to a buildup of fatty material which narrows the artery. This can cause a heart attack. And lastly, lack of physical activity. Regular exercise helps control weight, reduces chances of developing other conditions like high blood pressure and diabetes, and helps keep your arteries healthy. That's quite a list, isn't it? But these aren't the only causes of heart attacks. There are also some less obvious causes of heart attacks that you might not be aware of. Diving into the deep end, we find stress, a silent assailant that works subtly over time. Chronic stress, left unmanaged, can strain the heart and blood vessels, leading to conditions like hypertension. This, in turn, amplifies the risk of a heart attack. Now let's turn our attention to alcohol and caffeine. When consumed in moderation, they pose little threat. However, excessive consumption can be a different story. Overindulgence in alcohol can elevate blood pressure and heart rate, while an overdose of caffeine can lead to irregular heart rhythms. Both scenarios, if persistent, can pave the way to a heart attack. It's important to remember that these causes are not as obvious as cholesterol or obesity, but they are lurking in the shadows, ready to strike when least expected. While these causes might not be as well known, they are just as dangerous. So now we know, heart attacks can be caused by a variety of factors. We've delved into the mystery surrounding the silent killer and uncovered the culprits. From poor diet and lack of exercise, to smoking and excessive alcohol consumption, these lifestyle choices play a significant role in contributing to the risk of heart attacks, not to mention underlying health conditions such as high blood pressure, diabetes and obesity can also act as catalysts, accelerating the onset of this deadly condition. But the good news is, we have the power to change our habits and lifestyle choices. A balanced diet, regular exercise and medical checkups can go a long way in reducing the risk. We can't control our genetics, but we can certainly manage our lifestyle. Remember, understanding the causes of heart attacks is the first step in prevention. So, keep your heart healthy and stay informed.